This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. A heads up for students and parents at Saharis Elementary School in Mesa. Classes resume tomorrow, one day later than expected. Saharis was damaged during last week's monsoon storms. A cleanup from flooding has continued ever since. The school says repairs will still be ongoing when students do return, but it will not disrupt learning. Gilbert Public Schools looking into having more student resource officers on campus. Tonight, a key vote by town council could approve funding to add SROs at Mesquite High School and Junior High School from awarded grant money. A vote would also give formal approval to budget for SROs at Payne Junior High and Perry High School, which are out of district but within town limits. The district tells us it has seven SROs across their high school and junior high campuses. Americans are bracing for another possible interest rate hike. The Federal Reserve will meet tomorrow to decide if another increase is necessary. The Fed last met in July. Since then, inflation has showed signs of cooling. Some analysts say officials may hold off on hiking rates again. The Fed, I think, here is very cognizant of the fact that it doesn't want to overdo it and tip the economy into recession. The current inflation rate stands at about 3.7%. The Fed's goal is to get that number down to about 2%. New developments now in a battle over water pressure. Today is deadline day for Liberty Utilities to reply to the Arizona Corporation Commission's questions about why people in Litchfield Park are dealing with low water pressure. ABC 15 taking you inside a senior living community. Management sharing how residents are being impacted by this. Sun Health says they had to stop move-ins at one of their new buildings because water pressure is now becoming a safety concern. But their, uh, their belongings in storage, which was an inconvenience to them, and they're still waiting to, to move into the community. Yeah, and you said fire safety concerns. Is that because of sprinklers? Yes. DCC and Maricopa County are investigating. We will keep you updated as we learn more about what's causing this and how officials plan to fix it. Right now, Child Passenger Safety Week is underway, and today is your chance to get some free professional help setting up your car seat. Our Operation Safe Roads team is speaking to an injury prevention specialist at Phoenix Children's. They tell us car seats can save lives, but before running to the store and grabbing one, it's important to consider several factors can come into play when it comes to finding the right car seat for your family. It's good to do your research, talk to a child passenger safety technician so that they can guide you as to what kind of car seat it's best. Go to the stores, look at the different models. What are you looking for? There are car seats that are a lot heavier than others. Today and Thursday, families can get free help installing their car seats. Today's event is at Earnhardt Toyota in Mesa from 10 a.m. to noon, and then Thursday at Auto Nation Toyota in Tempe. Those classes are available in both English and Spanish. Pain at the pump, but does continue this morning. Gas prices rising again. The average is now officially above $5 per gallon for regular in Scottsdale. And prices are only a few cents lower in other parts of the valley. The national average is 388, the highest it's been so far this year. Well, just in time for Halloween, take a haunting tour of the Old West at the Mescal movie set in Benson. Starting October 7th, guests will transform into ghost hunters and join in on an interactive paranormal investigation. The chilling experience runs from 8 to 10 at night. The cost is $45 per person. All proceeds from the evening will go toward further renovations to the set. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Temperature is beginning to fall. Yesterday, we were about three degrees cooler than we were on Sunday. And today, that temperature will drop even further, down to about 100 degrees in Phoenix. And we may be the one spot in our state that reaches the triple digits here in the valley. Otherwise, it's upper 90s for Casa Grande and Gila Bend, and also upper 90s in western Arizona. Meanwhile, northern Arizona reaching highs in the 70s to 80s. Look for mostly sunny skies across the state today, then more cloud cover moving in tomorrow as the first of two disturbances approaches our our state winds will start to pick up in the valley too, then breezy to windy across the state by Thursday. Temperatures are falling though into the 90s starting tomorrow. Then we've got mid 90s to look forward to for Friday and Saturday. More cloud cover and more winds at times, but at this point the valley stays dry and our rain chances are also below 10% across northern Arizona. A storm system brushes by to our north, bringing the cooler air our way this weekend. Then we start to warm back up by early next week. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head on over to ABC15.com or go ahead and download that free ABC15 mobile app. This ABC15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. All roads lead to Sanderson Ford.